Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Tianan and today I'm filming an unboxing. As you can tell, this is an Illumicrate box. I believe that it's the January box and we're only now getting it. It is currently the 8th of February as I'm filming this. So I do feel like this is a little bit late. However, I'm so excited to dive into this and see what the book of the month is. I honestly can't quite remember off the top of my head as per usual. So hopefully this is going to be a really good surprise. Before diving in, I would just like to quickly apologize for my appearance, first of all. It's currently 10 past eight on a school night and I haven't long gotten back from work and secondly I would like to apologize for the glare from the ring light however as I've just mentioned it is quite late at night I didn't really want to faff around trying to take my glasses off and things like that so I'm really sorry if it annoys some of you but I did just want to film this unboxing as soon as possible so that I can get it up quickly for you guys right with all that being said let's just dive into the box as I mentioned I'm so so excited for this I'm always excited for my Illumicrate oh the spoiler card just flew out but here's the little sneak peek you can't really see anything okay Okay, and this isn't actually a spoiler card. It's a letter from the author, I believe. It's double-sided as well, so the author has a lot to say. I will, of course, read through that in a minute, but first of all, we need to get to the star of the show. So here we, of course, have the book of the month, and I'm just gonna dive straight on in, to be honest with you. Okay, so we've got a, is it black or navy sprayed edge? Don't know how well this is going to focus for you guys, but hopefully you can see that. And then the book of the month is, Oh wow, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. So the book of the month is God Killer by Hannah Kana and I really hope that I'm pronouncing that right, I'm sorry if I'm not. Look at this cover you guys, look how beautiful it is. I love it so so much and I'm even more in love with these. Can you see these sprayed edges, you guys? Look how amazing they are. They are stunning. And it, of course, matches the book's aesthetic perfectly as you kind of turn it round. This is what the back of the book also looks like. And I am just going to check if there's something <laughs> on the book itself. And yeah, yes, there is. Of course there is. I genuinely think that this is one of the best editions we've ever had. This is the image printed onto the book itself, you guys. Just take a moment. It is such an amazing print. I love it so, so much. And then I've just opened the book up so that you can see the whole thing. There aren't any characters on the back of the book, but you can see that the landscape kind of continues. And then look at these end pages, guys. This book just keeps giving. I'm obsessed. You guys know I love my gold foiling and my favorite color is blue. So of course, I absolutely love these. Let's see if the front ones are the same. Yes, they are, but the author's signature is also at the front here. I will just give you guys a little close-up so that you can hopefully see it a little bit better. Now, this is a book that I have actually heard about, but I haven't really looked into what it's about. It was the cover that caught my eye, can you believe it? But I will actually put the original cover up on screen for you quickly now. I think it's a lot more brown, whereas this is, of course, a lot more kind of purpley. It also has a bit of pink in it as well. And the synopsis of this reads, You are not welcome here, god killer. Kissin's family were killed by zealots of a fire god. Now she makes a living killing gods and enjoys it. That is, until she finds a god she cannot kill. Skadi, a god of white lies, has somehow bound himself to a young noble, and they are both on the run from unknown assassins. Joined by a disillusioned knight on a secret quest, they must travel to the ruined city of Blenraden, where the last of the wild gods reside, to each beg a favour. Pursued by demons, and in the midst of burgeoning civil war, they will all face a reckoning. Something is rotting at the heart of the kingdom and only they can be the ones to stop it. I'm sold you guys. I need to read this as soon as possible. I feel like this is one that I'm just going to love. It has all the elements that I do enjoy reading about so this is definitely going to be on my March TBR. I am so excited for it and I just can't believe that we have this stunning edition. I definitely think that the stenciled edges are the best part of this book. Honestly though, I feel like it is a stunning book regardless but these just add so much more to it. I wish that more special editions had this kind of stenciled edge thing going on where we kind of get a glimpse at what the book could entail but it also fitting in with the book cover as well. Hi Kiwi! You just love crashing my unboxings don't you? Sorry guys. I know that you guys love seeing her in my unboxings though so here she is. She's coming for a little snuggle. <laughs> Honestly the reason she's here is for this. She's just tried to steal it. As you can see there we go. She's happy now. <laughs> 
As I mentioned though, I do also have the author letter which I'm not going to show on camera because I do think that this is a really nice personal touch that Illumicrate subscribers get. So what I'm going to do is put it in the front of this book and then when I come to pick it up, I will read the author's letter first and then go into the story. I feel like that just gives you a bit of an insight into what the author wants you to get from this book. And again, yeah, I just think it's a lot more personal and enjoyable. So that is the January Illumicrate book. I am just completely completely blown away as you guys have seen. This is probably one of the most beautiful books that I own. So happy to have it now and it just sounds like it's going to be right up my street as well. So it's safe to say that this was definitely a successful unboxing. If you have made it this far through it into the video and would like to let me know that you're still here, please go ahead and leave me some woodland emojis down below. I'm not sure if there's a stag emoji but there will definitely be a rabbit emoji, some tree emojis, falling leaf emojis, that sort of thing. I definitely get that vibe from this book. And and I think it would be nice to see what you guys come up with. So if you don't have anything in particular that you would like to say, but you'd like to let me know that you're still here, please go ahead and comment that now. As well as that, please don't forget to click the like button if you like this video, and the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. It truly does mean the world to me, and I will see you soon in my next video. Goodbye!